Today I've got something special on the mill. We've got a crotch log, which is a honey locust. In case there's anybody out there who really has a craving to move some honey locust logs that aren't round, I can tell you, it's not easy. Got some larger honey locust logs coming later which I'm going to focus on quarter sawing for those but this one I'm gonna do this plain sawn and really try to make the most of the crotch figuring in this log so I'm just gonna shave the top off clip it 180 and then just plain sawn all the way down when I get a log like this that's a little bit rare and I want to optimize the value of it I take a lot of care in doing measurements before I do any cutting and especially now before I cut what I'm going to do is determine the height of the log and then the pith and I want to box this pith in to give me a nice quarter sawn on either side of the pith and to get accurate measurements I'll actually raise the whole blade assembly up and down and read the measurements off of my depth gauge so I've trimmed my top and bottom surfaces giving me a taste of what's to come and uh, really really intrigued by what I've seen so far now before I continue I want to sharpen my blade I want to make sure that my blade is nice and sharp all the way through this wood it's famous for having a high mineral content and dulls your blades really quickly I don't want to have any any bowing in my cuts so I want to make sure I've got a sharp blade I'm going to keep my tension pretty high This is from our quarter sawn and I just wanted to show the tightness of the grain and also some of the variegation in color. It's really quite beautiful. Really good quality wood. Looking forward to using this.
can I say about this wood other than I think I have a new favorite. It's just gorgeous. You've got this beautiful, rich orange, almost going into red, contrasting with the blonde sapwood. It's, it's almost like the orange version of black walnut where you've got that rich color, the rich dark color contrasting with the light sapwood. If you're a grain maniac and you love looking at the grain that we find in these beautiful woods, be sure to subscribe, tell your friends, join us for the next log, and see what that one holds in store.